hello guys i am aditya gupta welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to flash dot os on motorola e4 plus only mtk variants that are available in india with model number 1770 or 7071 etc and it will work on only mediatic variants so don't try with snapdragons it will break your device and take in mind that if you do this procedure it may cause any problem to your device and i am not will be the culprit so let's start with the video so now guys you can see this is the motorola hyper plus so you can see this is the motorola hyper plus mtk variant so now and yes guys do take in mind that you need the boot roller to be unlocked and a custom recovery that may be a trp or any other i have made earlier videos on that you can watch that for installing trp so after that you need to turn off your phone and after turning it off you need to open up in the recovery mode so now you can see i am going to open the phone in the recovery mode by pressing the volume down and power button at the same time now you can see we are in the recovery mode use the volume keys to navigate between the options you can see this is a recovery mode option after seeing that option click on the power button to select it now our phone is booting into the recovery mode it will take some time now it has been booted and you can see it is a trpw recovery and now you need to find that dot os file and remember to put it on the sd card i will put the download link of that rom because if you not put it on the sd card it will be erased because we need to wipe the data on the internal storage in order to flash the rom so now you can see first you need to take a backup of your rom if anything goes wrong you have the backup so you can restore it further so now i am taking a backup it will take around 3 to 4 minutes or more than that depending on what are the options you are choosing to backup you can see it is backing up Once it's done, you need to go to wipe data, and after going to wipe, you need to select advanced wipe and data cache data. The options which I am selecting only do that because don't choose the internal storage; it will erase some medias if you have. Now you can see our ROM has been wiped and ready to flash in a new ROM. So guys, let's navigate to the install option. After going that select SD card, and find that folder where your ROM is. So now I have found that dot .os and I am installing it. It will also take several minutes, so be patient. It is installing. It will take some time. done installing and now you need to navigate to the google apps which will which i also will provide the link in the description because you need google apps in order to use gmail etc so i am going to flash it so now i am flashing it it will also take some time so be in peace now
now let's after the gf sign flows you remember to flash that nav bar zip because it's a bug and it is a fixed by that zip so remember in order to use the navigation bar so now i'm installing that zip the zip has been installed and we are ready to use our rom so let's reboot check the p app option on your basis preferences i am not going to check it so let's reboot first boot will take around 10 to 15 minutes so don't panic now you can see guys our rom has been successfully booted up so let me set up this up i will be right back so now you can see this is the dot os and that's rom screen so let's go to the settings and you can see in the settings it's dot os the android version 7.1.2 and remember guys it this rom has a minor bug that is the olte bug so you will not be able to place call directly from that phone dialer on jio and you can see there are lots of options for customization so guys thanks for watching hope you liked the video and if you liked and if you successfully have flashed the rom please subscribe to me